Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the MCN. Uh, this is a very kind of quick version of it and that's just because unfortunately I'm very limited on time as uh, I'm making this about uh, 10 o'clock in the evening, uh, sadly. Got to get to bed, so is life. Sometimes I got time, sometimes there's no time. And sometimes I wish there was more time. I think a lot of us wish there was more time in life. A few things to go over. Of course, we had a smooth update. That's a very big rarity. Do bear in mind, content is dropping later on today, so you never know what's going to happen. Something could just break, but uh, you know we'll be covering stuff as we go. And of course, we'll be covering all the stuff that we need to when it comes to the side quests and uh, new things. So you might also be wondering about this metal pool meltdown which is there right on screen. Uh, do bear in mind, even though you're saying to yourself, I can't access this in its type, this is a placeholder front image. So when it comes to this being updated, which it will do today, later on today, it will obviously change and will be the metal pool meltdown because you might be accessing it going like hang on a minute no that's legendary incursions just so just to explain that there's nothing wrong with it it's just a case of like it will change later on today also just quickly on to something a bit ridiculous now i thought about doing a, a separate video on this one but i thought i'd just save it for the mcn because well it's kind of mcn orientated and that is the rank up bundles so you might have seen in game especially if you go to your store that uh, if you scroll down you've got 26 days which is a good amount of time in order to access some of these bundles these are rank up bundles taking champions from the rarity that they are up up higher or kind of allowing you to go oh i want to take a rank two to a rank three of iron man specifically this is a core of course like a way that Kabam are trying to kind of make a bit of money on the side as you know they're not making any money this month from cavalier crystals or paragon crystals unless you count the seven star version of Iron Man. So therefore, if people aren't spending, then Kabam won't do this again where they buff a champion. It's just how Kabam operate. That's how it is. So with the question of should you get this? It's down to you as a player. I personally go with no. I'm going with no mainly because if you are a Paragon player, the, and depending on the, uh, the kind of the rarity of it, because obviously these do scale down, if it's a case like you're you're saving up units for the likes of Cyber Weekend or Banquet Event towards the end of the year, you're probably going to have enough rank up material saved up between that point to then go, right, well, I'll take my units and put it towards the, uh, the special event, Cyber Weekend, the Banquet Event, and then kind of like go, well, I'll rank up the champion if I like them. And do bear in mind, go and test out the champion first. Make sure you like it first before making that decision. But... Look, if you've got if you've got people who've got money, you know they probably just like spend it on on this stuff. But it's quite a bit, um, and of course, people have had their say on the matter. Um, yeah, why to be able to own two of them? No one would pay seven thousand five hundred units for a rank five uh, six star generic. Why would they pay seven thousand five hundred for an Iron Man rank five six star? And as we said, like it's just a case of it's an offer based on, yeah. Yeah, just if you, if you got it, spend it, spend it, don't. And if you don't have the champion, then you don't have to get it. Like I said, many people point out, they don't have the champion. So if you got it, you got it. If you don't, you don't. If it's going to matter, yeah. Uh, and that's an interesting one. As uh, Ebony Moore says, I think they forgot to include a six-star Iron Man in there. Not that they would have justified the value, though. So, again, it's down to your own personal thoughts on this one. Seems a bit ridiculous. I'd say save your units. Uh, for things at like Cyber Weekend uh, and the Banquet event. And uh, yeah, rank up based on if you like the champion. If you don't like the champion, then it's a very specific type of rank up. So do bear that in mind. And the final story before we go into Arena Predictions is Battlegrounds Orientated. Now, I did a video similar to this an MCN, I think it was last week. But the thing is, the topic has kind of like expanded a bit more. And this particular thread, which is very popular on the forums, is something that, as of I'm recording this, has been closed, and it's been closed for um, you know a little while. And as the week has gone on since I posted the last video about the problems with the battleground season being not as fun or very grindy, is that I think it, this is meant to be a band aid, uh, not that performance art, or as we say in the UK, a plaster. Uh, sounds like something that should be more American rather than Band-Aid. Plaster. Hey, have you got a plaster? Yeah, I've got a scratch. Put the plaster on it, as you Americans say. Um, but uh, yeah, look, 
I think it's a it's band-aid plaster for improving victory track with victory seeding going into the next battlegrounds. I'm gonna have to explain it battleground season. I have to explain that. So something just to kind of like put you in in my particular perspective is that I'm not really interested this month this this season in battlegrounds. I only want to do my points and that's it. After a while I just got a bit bored with it. I find it very repetitive and I think that's because there's more grinding that needs to be done with it. And I'm there looking at it going like, it's just, just not enjoying myself with it, which happens. There's other content. I've actually gone back to enjoying grinding arena and that's a very weird thing, but I've got a target. I've got a thing I need to achieve, which is cyber weekend prep and for prepping for doing um, a banquet event. So that's a target that I want to achieve. Nothing needs wrong with back battlegrounds. It's just a case of like, my time needs to be better invested to get something for that particular those particular events just so i can help out participate and do other things as well and it just shifts like i'm sure you will have different targets month in month out that you want to achieve i also needed to do some act eight i did that i'm nearly there with 100 percenting it but we have new event quests dropping today so i need to go and do that you know that's how it works that's that's the mcoc life and people get that you understand that but in any case back to the subject battlegrounds okay this thread, lots of discussion. I'm not going to get too much into it because, as a lot of you know, people fall out about stuff. But it was an interesting take right here, which is, Battlegrounds is not fun this season. Here are the reasons why. Every tier in Gladiator Circuit after Diamond seems to follow the same pattern. Win four matches, then on the fifth lose, then possibly lose again, then go back up again to four tokens, then lose again. How is that exactly 100% of the time on the fifth token of Vibranium we are put up against Ultra Whales? This was not the case last season. The pattern was what I dealt with all of Diamond and Vibranium and honestly dumps on the game mode, not to mention the countless input issues. Uh, I've had a few input issues actually with uh, playing around with Iron Man, but, uh, and I see a lot of other people as well having exactly the same thing. Kabam obviously deny a lot of this stuff and they say, no, it's not, it's just a user error, which I would say throw back to Kabam is all your champions have animation based issues. And if that's the thing that you're using as an excuse, go and fix all your champions. That's more work to you. That's more work to work uh, to Kabam. But in any case, People are talking about how they feel about um, this particular content. Putting three levels on Vibranium, each requiring five wins, it's not doable for a lot of average three to four wins then lose back. It's not fun at all. In my opinion, I think requiring three wins on each level and five wins for entering Gladiator Circuit should be the enjoyable way for a lot of us. And do bear in mind, like, you know, I understand that Kaban want to make changes to stuff, but if it's not broke, and people like it why does it need to change i don't know it's been like that for a little while people enjoyed it i enjoyed last season i enjoyed the previous season i enjoyed the season before that maybe i didn't enjoy a couple of seasons in between it but definitely for the last few seasons i've been like i'm enjoying battlegrounds i like the structure i think some improvements are there and of course i did do a video saying like i think this will divide opinions and of course, I wasn't particularly happy with uh, the way that Kabam are trying to uh, to kind of like change the particular mode with that element. And it's backfired on them. You know, you can read the room. Community sentiment's incredibly important. And of course, it didn't work out. And I suspect Kabam will go back to the drawing board and go, do you know what? This didn't actually work and we might have to change this. I really hope they do. And I'd say it's very important that with the Battle Realm Brawl and the Summoner Sanctum, a month and a bit away it's really important to kind of like make sure that they are listening and especially when it comes to some of the sanctums that when kabam are approached by these issues these things that the community have when it comes to uh you know um chat in person they like kabam listen and they take note and of course they deal with that now kabam mike did respond to a thread similar to this which we did talk about in our video several days ago actually that was this was last week and uh, said that uh, thank you for the feedback we'll be sure to raise it with the team as a reminder we are going to continue to make changes to victory track gladiator circuit and a matchmaking to ensure that this mode stays competitive and gets more fair as time goes on this does mean that over time lesser experienced players will not be able to climb as high and of course that's going to be something of relevance to this it's like saying that for a lot of paragon players when they reach platinum uh, they are more than likely facing off against people with a lot lower accounts now the problem is for a lot of paragon players fighting extensively paragon players lower paragon players fight against huge paragon players and 
trying to get out of like the lowers is always really hard to do which um you know by the time you get to a certain point you're like oh i give up with this mode i really do you know it's rank two seven stars and against my rank three six stars sometimes these these situations are just ass but here's the thing i think that this month is being tipped as being terrible because it is meant to be the band-aid as i said there's a part two this is the band-aid the plaster and what that is is basically it's a quick fix to something like a cut which will heal it in time how does this heal in time well azkaban did say that they are going to put in place victory seeding which means that next season a lot of those players that have already kind of gone and stomped on you that have gone into the likes of uh vibra gone past vibranium and then gladiator circuit are going to come back into platinum or i think it's platinum i'm pretty certain it's platinum so they come back in at a higher higher threshold which means that they're less than likely to stomp on you meet you in battle and therefore they can toddle off on their way back into gladiator circuit because they've done all the hard work which means that that should be a little bit of a benefit for you now that is the theory it doesn't mean to say that that is actually going to happen but in theory that is what might happen and therefore you won't be able to face off against some of these more harder accounts and therefore feel that battlegrounds is annoying of a mode and other stuff like that so we're going to look forward to next time when season 11 is released i don't know if it's in a week from now or it's two weeks from now i can't remember on the uh the thing. i don't know if we've seen when the breakdown is or when it's going to be released but of course we'll be covering stuff on the channel we're looking at if there's an improvement and i kind of feel like what i might do is kind of finish off my battleground season here in gold because then it what it means is i start at the bottom so it means that i'll be able to kind of like test out the theory did kabam get it right or did they get it wrong that could be a very interesting series and we might have to do that uh, put in the comment section if you'd like to see something like that on the channel uh, if not i'll just try and push into uh gladiator circuit as quickly as i as i can today probably not gonna because i'm at work so and this video is scheduled in these are things. Now, at this particular point, I do do arena predictions, but Kabam haven't posted them, so or probably posted what the arena is going to be. So I don't know. So um, yeah, we'll leave it at that, and um, I'll probably do arena predictions and results on Friday. Thanks to those that support the channel as a YouTube member and as a Patreon, also on Twitch. There's something brewing with Twitch, which um, I need to cover probably in a video on friday possibly there's some leaked material uh which is interesting but i'm a bit unsure whether or not i want to cover or not but in any case thank you very much for watching this video and check out some other content located on screen and i'll see you all very soon have a lovely day bye bye